Hello, hello, Yenta here. I wanted to show you guys a quick three hatch lurker all in versus Turan bio. It's quite strong. Um, it's an easy build to focus on. I'm going to show you two variations. First variation I'm going to show you is 12 hatch, 11 pool, 10 gas, which is the standard 12 hatch build opening. And the second variation I'm going to show you is 12 hatch, 11 gas, 10 pool, which gives you faster gas mining, which lets you get both layer and link speed almost at the same time when your pool pops, which in turn lets you get a surprise link speed timing against your opponent. So let's start with the basic build. That's the default build. I will say that both of these builds are open to to bunker rushes, eight racks type stuff. So you will have to know how to counter that, how to behave with that, versus that, or you, I may in a later type of video show you how to do the same opening but off of overpool. Let's, I'm just doing this versus a computer, but <clears throat> let's hide the computer, send our overlord, first overlord out, scouting to the nearest natural, I mean, standard scouting. And the build itself is pretty straightforward. Try to keep your drones going to the, the order of the patches they go to based off what I posted in the channel um, so that they're somewhat mining efficiently. Don't worry about boosting. Overlord on 9. Once the Overlord is done on 9, two more drones. Once we're about to get that third drone, send a drone out to our natural. These two drones that pop here go into our mineral line, so we got 10 mining. This one made a hatchery. The last one that pops makes a scouting round with shift cliff. Then we make pool on 11, gas on 10. Pretty normal stuff. So where do we go from here? So slightly over droned. Um, I think I over droned this replay. Maybe I did it. So we're going to drone up to 13. As soon as the gas pops, get some on gas. If we drone up to 13, we're going to have nine on minerals and three on gas. So perfect. Um, I over droned here. So I did. I made a, I, I shouldn't have done this. I should have made this larva should have been at one pair of links just to tra chase down the scouting SCV. This build works a lot better if the Turan doesn't think it's coming and they just assume you're going Muta. Because like everyone teaches going Muta first. Um, a lot of times Zerg will just go Muta first. But going Lurker first, uh, especially when you're a new Zerg, is equally good. So this should have been a pair of links, so that's a mistake. Um, usually you want the next larva to be a pair of links, chase down the scouting drone, and then you can go back to droning. But how do I fix that? I think another larva pops out here, yup, and I make the links here. So there we go. With your first 100 gas, start a layer ASAP. Now we're just building drones. On 16, we want to make a overlord from the main hatchery larva. And the reason for that is... Um, we are mining efficiently here. We're one-to-one -one saturation. So we want all new drones to go to these minerals. And we want them to spawn as close to the minerals as possible. Just like in other videos. And then as soon as we have the next 100 gas, we want to start link speed. There we go. So yip today, going through the build. Um, what happens next really depends on what the Turan's doing and how aggressive they are. So, uh, by this time, oh, this overlord went way too far down. It should be over here, over your gnat. The reason it should be over your gnat is it's, um, it's making sure that there's no SCV making a bunker here. If it's over your gnat, you see the SCV making a bunker. That means they're trying to bunker rush you. We'll make another video on how to stop that. And I'm going to have to p find someone to actually do the bunker rush um, to show you how to stop that. But anyways, going back to the build. So we know the Turan's here. We didn't scout anything here. Didn't scout anything here. 
So the next kind of timing is, and my hydrogen's a little bit late, but around 50% of layer being done, you want to make a hydrogen. Um, hopefully by this time, you kill the scouting SCV. Uh, so you're, you're denying scouting and the terrain doesn't know what you're doing. So you make a hydrogen here. Uh, if you, you make it down here anyway. Um, just to, like if a SCV comes in, they're probably going to go up here. So there's a huge chance he's not going to see it. Sometimes the creep even extends further back, so it makes it easier to hide it. If the SCV is still going around here in your main, you're going to hide it. If the SCV is down here, uh, before you make the den, then you put one link here on the ramp hold position so the SCV can't get back up, and you make your Hydra den in your main, but then make sure that you add a drone back here. All right. So I'm just droning up here and make my Hydra den. Um, I want to go up to probably eight drones here uh, before I start making any more lings. Now this is of course all all depends on what the Turan's doing. If the Turan's out here just minding his own business, setting up his setting up his command center, making a bunker and so on and so forth, then like you can just make drones. If you see them gearing up to move out, like they didn't make a bunker, you see them gearing to move out, that means they're a little bit more confident in stopping Ling all ends. And you probably want to make one sunken right now. It's quite hard to deal with early marine aggression if you don't have link speed. Um, it all comes down to micro. And a lot of times the Turan's going to have a, an easier time microing uh, before your links get on top of them, slow links. So it's, I think for new players, it's better just to make a sunken. And even if you're like just scared of the Turan player, you don't want to deal with having to make the sunken last minute, make it beforehand. So one of these drones can go and make a sunken. It could be before the Hydra done. It could be much, much earlier, even after like this pops, whatever. Um, it's not going to screw up the build, maybe delay it a little, like a couple seconds. Right, so as soon as the Hydra done's done, we're going to start Lurker Upgrade. I'm just making drones. I have six drones right now. Not making another Overlord yet. Um, start making a couple more Lings. Like once, I start my Lurker upgrade, right? I'm, I'm on seven drones here. It's not enough, I should be on eight. I started making Lings beforehand. These Lings you can take to the middle of the map um, to hide them. The next thing I do is after I have 300 minerals, is I make another hatchery, a third hatchery, and then immediately after, I'm going to make my gas here. So I should have six drones left. When the gas is done, you're going to put three drones onto the gas. So you'll have three drones mining here, and then the remaining three drones mining from close minerals to be as efficient as possible. So this strategy is low drone count. It's going to be, from this point on, it's going to be micro-intensive. Um, so about halfway, when the Lurker upgrade is done, you're going to start making your Hydra. You probably want to start with an Overlord first, maybe even two Overlords, and then you make your Hydra. I do have enough supply right now to make two Hydra. Just making some Lings. I make that drone that I was missing because I counted my drones and I was like, huh, missed a drone. Let's speed this up a bit. Send my drones to gas. My first Hydra come out. I'm starting to rally here. So I want to rally about midway between us and the Turan player. Um, if the Turan player is good and, they, and they, they're scouting and they realize they're going lurker, they probably start making more bunkers. They may have just one bunker to begin with, but they really need three forward bunkers to be able to deal with your lurker all in, and maybe even more. So we go up to the middle of the map. Um, if you see that the Turan is kind of like want to be aggressive and moving forward, you'll have your sunken here. Then you don't want to rally to the middle of the map. You want to rally to like the side and make your lurkers to the side. You, you don't want the Turan player catching your lurkers mid-map. 
because you may not be able to deal with them with these links here, uh, with their move out. It's better to take these links back and deal with them trying to go into your, into your sunken. So got my three hatches up, got my lurkers over here, first lurkers making. So the next thing I do is I put a soft container on the Turan. So I'm not trying to kill them. If, if for some reason the Turan player doesn't make a bunker, only makes one bunker, we can try to all in earlier. We can try to all in when we have four to five lurkers. But if you see them making three uh, bunkers, then you should wait for more lurkers and more lings. If they move out here and don't scan and lose a lot of stuff to these first two or three lurkers that are making the soft contain, then you can also just begin your all-in right away. Just just pounce on them. But I'm assuming that they're respecting us. They're making their three bunkers at least. So what am I continuing to do? I'm making more lurkers. Um, I'm trying to zero out my gas. So I'm shooting for like eight lurkers or more first, and then the rest lings. Of course, you're going to need to make overlords when, like, watch your supply. So I'm at 51 or 59, probably when I'm at like 53 or 54, I want to make another overlord beforehand. So by the time I'm close to maxing again, the overlord happens to finish building. So you're going to be, from here on on, you're just going to be rallying everything in front of the Turan. You have a soft contain. They're not going to be able to get out. They really need to start attacking the tanks and being ready to prepare to hold your all-in. Railing everything over here. Uh, how do we hockey before we attack it? And I'll show you actual games to, to how you position things, but you want to hockey your lurkers on one, uh, and you want them all burrowed or unburrowed before you move in, uh, so that when you do move in and hit burrow, they all burrow together. And you want two groups of lings, one on two and one on three. So once you have that lurker amount, once you have the ling count, um, you go in lurkers first. The reason that you go in lurkers first is so they take damage, and then you go lings, lings in next. So that's that basic build. Um, now I'm going to show you another uh, version of this that's a little bit more aggressive. And that's going to be 12 hatch, 11 gas, 10 pool. I do mess up this build when I'm, sh when I'm doing it initially here uh, because I make the gas, the first gas too late. But let's go, let's go, let's go. So the first part of the build is exactly the same uh, up to 12 hatch. Da -da -da. Uh, so after your 12 hatch is done, much, much earlier than me, like as soon as you have 50, you should make gas before pool. And then as soon as you have money, you make pool. So it's a timing difference for the next two buildings. This build is definitely more open to eight racks because your lings are gonna be slower. So I would suggest you do this only for someone you know is going not going to eight racks you or bunker rush you, um, is going to be playing standard. So you can see that my I'm, I'm mining a lot of gas, right? Normally, I should have 250 minerals and two, about 200 gas when the pool finishes. Again, my gas was late here. In that case, I can make both layer and speed at the same time. And how many drones am I, am I on? I should be on nine drones down here uh, and three drones on gas and then one drone coming back from scouting. So that drone that's coming back from scouting is going to go into my natural. From here, I want to make eight lings. So four, four larva equals eight lings. I'm waiting for my lings to finish. What I'm really waiting for is my speed to finish. I'll show you this in a real game too, what it can do. Speed is done much earlier. Speed is done at four minutes. Um, and this can really touch, catch the terrain off guard if they are not have not dealt like seen this before. Um, if they make a if they make a bunker, 
then just don't do anything. Continue on with the build. If they don't make a bunker and you see that they have units out here, then this is a good opportunity to punish them. As soon as speed finishes, you should come in, surround, and try to kill those initial marines. That puts you in a great spot to really make this all in super hurtful. That shuts down any and all aggression that the Turan can do before your first lurkers are out and puts them on a defensive footing. So from here on out, they're playing defensively and it's letting you not make a sunken. Um, what happens after you engage the Marines? Well, you're probably going to lose some links. You have an option of maybe picking off some SCVs here, but probably if you have like three links, four links left, you don't want to be micro-intensive because it's going to take away from you executing the rest of the build. Like this is a timing build, so you need to get these timings down. So there's no, there's no, nothing bad about just backing out. Take the links that you have left that you cleared out as Marines with, take them out and just put them over here and like kill any scouting SCVs that come out. The rest of the build is the same, but um, like at 50, 60% layer, I made my hydrogen, so it was almost done. Um, I'm a little bit, I made a little bit too many drones, so this lurker upgrade is going to be slow. But every other larva after that is making drones, so I'm going up to eight drones, the same amount that I was on before. Started my lurker upgrade. Now I'm going to make my third hatch. When I get 300, there we go. I'm going to make my gas with one of these drones. And then everything else is the same. Uh, I'm going to make two overlords, and then I'm going to start making Hydra. Rally to the middle of the map. Um, and everything from there is, is going to be the same. So let's move on to some actual game gameplay replays and let me show you what you can do with this the gas first build if you time everything correctly here okay right so the, the scv should only see four lings if it doesn't go down so that's going to be a surprise you can see here that this Turan is, is opting to not make a depot here. It's opting to not make a not to make a bunker. Um, even though the, the SCV saw four links, so I'll be a little bit worried. Maybe maybe the Turan player didn't understand the timing here. Like you can see that these things line up really nice. So my speed is a little bit slow. We should be done a little bit earlier, but yeah. So I, I leave one Ling chasing the SCV. Keep on making stuff. Uh, actually, my hydrogen is slow here. <laughs> or no, it's not slow. It's somewhere. Oh, there it is. It is a little bit slow. But let's see what I do with the Lings, how I do, right? I'm going up the ramp, going up here. I get five Marines for free. Get an SCV, I get another Marine, another two Marines. And then I have three Lings left, so I run away. I don't want to lose all these Lings, right? Maybe try to kill some of these, but yeah, I run away, end up running away. So what can we do? What happens next? So we fast forward. Um, I'm just executing the build, right? I have my first three lurkers here. They're just doing a soft contain. Um, I tried to place them originally over here when he was building these two bunkers to try to shut down him building this bunker. But he was able to finish it, get a scan off, so I just ran back and set up a kind of soft contain. These lurkers could be a little bit better spaced out so that he can't run down here. But good enough for this game. So what are we doing here? We're just building up links. We're building up lurkers. He probably isn't using scans to see what we're doing, to see what my count is, because... Uh, he wants to save those scans before his turret is up in case I, I come in 
he doesn't save those scans up, then he's got two scans here. If he doesn't save those scans up, then I just kill him with invisible units. Right, I show my links here just so he doesn't get any ideas. Da, 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 da. He's got to, like SCVs here in case he wants to um, in case he wants to repair these bunkers. He's he's smartly setting up his medics here, so like I can't just come in and surround stuff. I think he has fire bats. He has a fire bat in here. So if you can see which bunker he puts a fire bat into, that's great. Because then you know that's the one that you don't attack with links, right? <laughs> if you attack it with links, it's just going to get wiped really fast. Fire bats and bunkers are really good versus this type of all-in. So now, because the game didn't play out perfectly, right? I lost a couple links, my stuff was slow then I'm going in at 8, whereas if you saw in the replays I was showing you, I was going in like 7.30. But that's fine. He doesn't have that many units. So what's happening now? Um, I see that he has, like, I'm playing versus a good player. I see that he's stimming when he sees my lurkers here. I have 12 lurkers. He sees my lurkers, he's pre-stimming, and then going into the bunker. That's what the Turan needs to do to survive this. What I'm doing is, I'm waiting. I, I saw him stim, so I'm just going to wait until stim wears off. Um, which is going to lower energy on his marine medics. See, I go in, I go out, I go in, I go out. I'm kind of teasing him. And then I finally go in. So I go in lurkers first. The lurkers um, are over here trying to target this bunker. And then my other links, I'm going to target this bunker and this bunker. He does have a fire bat in here, so maybe that's not the best bunker to target. But um, yeah, this way, lurkers definitely just bust this. Links should bust this and this, or be close to it. Boom, it's done. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to get on top of the barracks. Um, he's trying to make a bunker up here to hold it. If you linger too long in the natural, then he gets his bunker up it's a, and a tank up with siege. It's very hard to go up his ramp. So just go up his ramp. Like, ignore the SCVs. Get up his ramp. If you get up his ramp, you're going to get on top of his production and it's GG. There's no way he's coming back. SCVs can't stop lurkers. Let me show you another replay. Uh, oops, this is the wrong replay. This is the right replay. So let's go to like 3 minutes and 10. So same setup, I went gas before pool, so I'm going to have link speed soon. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's better timing this time, right? It's at almost at four minutes. Let's see what happens here. So my link speed kicks in, and he's putting down a bunker. So first of all, you can see the difference. He put down a supply depot here just to lower this gap and make it harder for my links to get in there, pre-bunker. And then he scouted with his SCV, that, you know what, I, I think this guy's making a lot of links. Something's off here, so he's making a bunker. So I go in, I see what's going on, I lose two links, I should have backed off earlier. I get the SCV and I just get out of there. So I think I, oh, there's one link over here, yeah. So not, not great from my end, um, but not terrible, because I only lost two links. So let's fast forward a little bit. Actually, let's not fast forward. Um, so he, he, he had an SCV, you saw, he had an SCV over here just to try to scout my tech. That's a very smart move. Um, I, I, I think I did see it earlier, but I didn't pay attention to it. I probably could have gone and killed that. 
Um, but this this way he confirms that it's lurkers. I'm pretty sure he saw the den or he didn't see the spire. So he knows it's lurkers. So he's preparing for lurkers. Which makes my all inning a little bit harder. So let's go. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what he does next. He's getting his commsat station up. He needs to rush those since it is lurkers. He uses one scan to confirm. Let's see where he scanned. Yeah, he uses one scan to confirm that it is hydralisk then after all. Um, so now he's 100% sure it's lurker. He sees the hydra. So now he's going forward bunkers. I tried to come in and snipe this SCV, but it happened to move out, so I didn't get it. And what he's doing next is also the correct response, is he's going forward with his lings. Uh, I'm sorry, he's going forward with his M&M. The reason he's going forward with his M&M is he's trying to snipe these first two lurkers. He's trying to prevent this soft contain from going up. So we're going to have to play very, very, very carefully with our lurkers so we don't lose them. So I got my first lurkers up. I'm going up here. Um... I pull back just so I don't lose them. I burrow here. He's he's not going to be able to kill these. He may be able to get one, but he's probably going to lose his entire group. So he doesn't want to do that. Um, I take my lings. I put him over here just in case he does go for it. Definitely uh, punish him. He's making three bunkers. He's getting his turret up. He's doing everything right that he should be doing. I'm making more lurkers. Continuing with the build, right? So now what I need to shut down is I only have him shut down here. I don't have a, a good contain on him. He's trying to go up here. Like if he takes this group of units and goes around and kills some drones, or he gets in between me and my base and kills some incoming lurkers, Hydra, that's bad for me. Um, so what I want to do is I want to soft contain here and preferably here so that he is locked into his base. He's not going to be able to get out of that before he has a factory with tanks. So my next, lur next lurkers go up here, right? Being careful not to lose them. Um, catch one of his lings. So I consider my soft contain in a good spot. A little bit forward, a little bit forward. Now he can't go up here. I baited him. Um, he didn't realize there were lurkers here, so he wanted to kill these lurkers because he thought they were unburrowed, and he could snipe one, got baited, lost some marines. Good for me, right? Now my soft contain is up. Now I can go into make a lot of lurkers and then all in mode. So what's the difference between this game and that game, uh, the previous game I showed you? No fire bats. So this all in should go a lot easier. Lurkers up, lurkers in first, burrow my lurkers, he stimmed late, um, I didn't wait this time, there you go, um, if you practice this and get this down, you're going to have a one strong all-in build, uh, and you don't even have to do all-in, like if the Turan goes super crazy, somehow gets tanks faster, has like four get super defensive like four bunkers five bunkers tanks uh, that's probably not a good time to all in um, so you probably want to cut your losses um, just set up a soft contain here make sure you're not getting ranged by siege tanks and then go into macro mode um, you can go straight to you can go to base hive uh, if you're because then you get dark swarm and then you can try it an all in with dark swarm or you can go into macro mode, go into like Hydra Lurk, get up to five hatches and just make uh, Hydra upgrades, get your plus one attack and then plus one carapace, plus one attack on Hydra. Hydra range, Hydra speed, make some drones, get a third base. Um, he's going to need vessels, he's going to need some tanks to move out. But maybe that's, maybe make a follow the video on how to un-all in yourself when you're setting up for this build. Well, thanks very much.